Only on 11 and 11, hundreds of thousands of your tax dollars being used to keep closed schools empty, keep them essentially open, really. Pittsburgh is home to several of these buildings, like the one you see here, some of which haven't been used by the district for years now. 11 Investigates Aaron Martin explains what the Pittsburgh Public Schools is doing to get these properties off their hands. It sounds like an open school and looks like an open school, but walking through Arlington Elementary, you wouldn't know it's been shut down for years. This is obviously more attractive because it is pretty cleared out and people come into a school like this and typically say, wow, this building's in really good shape and they don't even think it was closed four years ago. Pat Morissetti with Fourth River Development is contracted to sell empty Pittsburgh public school buildings and show Channel 11 what Arlington Elementary has to offer. It's one of four PPS buildings recently put on the market, along with the former Bonaire Elementary School in Bonaire, Belmar School in Homewood and Mann School in Marshall Shadeland. Requests for proposals closed earlier this month with bids on Belmar and Mann. It retires debt, it eliminates annual expenses to operate the building, and then ultimately it puts the buildings back on the tax rolls as well as sort of complements the community. But just keeping these schools in good enough condition to be sold is costing taxpayers. <laughs> Pittsburgh Public Schools says the district spent more than $440,000 in maintenance costs for closed buildings in 2018 alone the equivalent of 10 PPS teacher salaries, according to the hiring website Indeed. That's up from $336,000 the year before. It's crazy, for real, for real. I think they should do something with it, though. Like, my grandma always tell me, like, they should, like, other, other schools, there's, like, a lot of empty schools. Tyrese Peoples lives down the street from Arlington Elementary School. He's hopeful something will be done with it soon. There's one school in the... On the hill, they made that to an apartment. I don't know why they make this make this one mm -hmm. as to an apartment. What Belmar and Mann could become will be made clear this spring when the school board votes on the proposals. As we sort of sift through and evaluate the proposals, I'm pretty confident and encouraged that we're going to get some deals done. Deals that could take some of the burden off of taxpayers and help the district in the long run. Reporting in Pittsburgh, Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News.